Hi, so now we are going to learn the divisibility rule of 11 and this is also one of the very very simple rules of divisibility and here the rule is the difference between the sum of the digits at even places and the sum of the digits at odd places is either 0 or divisible by 11, right? So suppose if we have a number like 50,000 248 it is a big number so we have to check its divisibility right so what is the first step first step is we have to identify the digits at even places and odd places right so if I start counting from the rightmost side this 8 will be at odds places it is the first place then this is the third number and this is the fifth number right so what they are saying the sum of all these digits and the sum of all the digits at even places if we find the sum of these digits and then find the difference the difference should either be 0 or it should be divisible by 11 right so the sum of the digits at odd places is 5 plus 2 7 and 7 plus 8 15 right Similarly, the sum of the digits at even places is 4 plus 0, 4, right? And what we have to do now? Yes, we have to find the difference. So to find the difference, what we do? We subtract the smaller number, which is 4 over here, from the bigger number, which is 15, right? We have to do 15 minus 4, and this gives us 11, right? And this 11 is the multiple of 11. 11 ones are? 11 right so this will be divisible by 11 any number is always divisible by the number itself 11 ones are 11 gives us remainder as 0 right so this says or this suggests that this number 50248 will also be divisible by 11 right so let's check the validity of the rule so for that we will divide this whole number 50248 by 11 and see whether we get the remainder as 0 or not. So let me remove all this extra calculation, right? So what we have to check? We have to divide this number by 11, right? 11 fours are 44. 10 minus 4 gives us 6. 4 minus 4 will be 0. If I note down this 2 over here, it becomes 62. 11 fives are 55 right 12 minus 5 gives us 7 right and now this is the turn of this 4 11 6 are 66 minus 14 minus 6 gives us 8 is 0 and now if I note this 8 down it becomes 88 and yes 11 8s are 88 0 so we got our remainder as 0 that means 50248 is completely divisible by 11 right so this was one example and now I'm going to take one more example in which I would try to get the difference as 0 so this time the number I'm going to take is 1331 right and again let's mark the numbers at odd places these are the number at odd places, right? And these are the numbers at even places, right? And what we have to do? Yes, we have to find the sum of the digits at even places and the sum of the digits at odd places. So in this case, if we find the sum of the digits at even places, 1 plus 3 gives us 4, right? And same is the sum of the digits at odd places. They are also 3 and 1. 3 plus 1, again 4. Right? And now if I find the difference, it will be 4 minus 4. This gives us 0. Right? So this number 1331 should also be divisible by 11. So let's check it by dividing it by 11. So the number we have to divide is 1331 right and this we have to divide by 11 11 ones are 11 
If we subtract 3 minus 1 gives us 2, 1 minus 1 is 0. Let's note this 3 down. 11 2s are 22. And if we subtract 3 minus 2 gives us 1. And this is the turn of noting down this 1 over here. And again 11 1s are 11. And 11 minus 11 is 0. So we have got our remainder as 0. That means 1331 is divisible by 11. Right? So this is the proof of the concept or the rule that if the difference of the sum of the digits at even places and the sum of the digits at odd places is either 0 or a multiple of 11, the whole number or the number itself will be divisible by 11. So for many more videos like this, watch or subscribe to MathSmart.